To gain reasonable access to this breather box, I pulled the support bracket for the intake manifold. It's right there. In fact, I may actually leave it off. It doesn't appear to do a whole lot. Uh, I think it's pretty firmly bolted to the to the intake side of the motor, but I'll search the forums on more on that. But anyway, now I have more better <laughs> access to the breather box, which there's at least one bolt in it that I can find. It's on the bottom. And it's got that wire clipped to it that I have to take care of. Uh, and it's got the PCV valve in it. So other than pulling those three and finding any other bolt that's in it, it's out. So here we go. Found the other bolt right here at the top of the intake manifold. Right down in there. It'd be this guy right here we're talking about is the bracket. The bolt's on the other end of it. Gotta get that one off too. Here we are with one breather box assembly. Firstly disassembled, nasty. As you can see, it's pretty coated with oil. Here's the side that you're used to seeing. Bolt flange one, bolt flange two, upper, lower. And uh, this is the mating surface. I had to sort of pry with a flat bladed screwdriver to see some marks there from the top, and it came right out. So here it is, I'm gonna do some cleaning. All right, so for lack of a better way to clean this baby out internally, uh, I'm going to use a solvent. I don't have any mineral spirits, which would probably be the best. I have some alcohol, but I, I'm not going to use that. Uh, what I do have is some old gas followed by some new gas. So I'm going to pour some in using a funnel. I'm going to try to pour enough in that I can keep some in it and put my thumb over both of the openings and shake it out. This is kind of a nasty old gas that I had. Some of it was mixed with two cycle oil. It's kind of gross. But anyhow, here we are. Some of it has already gone out the bottom through the, the outlet. Put my thumbs over both. And be careful not to make any pressure in there. Don't want any explosive items. I do have a fire extinguisher about two feet to the right of where I'm working, by the way. So, a couple of good shakes and uh, pretty nasty looking color coming out of there. Obviously that's mixed with some oil, but uh, yeah. So I'm going to repeat this probably two, three times with the old gas, and then I'm going to take some fresh new gas and do it probably two times just to get everything nice and clean on the inside, wipe down the outside, and and reinstall. I did take off this gasket because it was easy to, off, easy to get off. The other one is not so easy, which is one of the reasons why I left it, and also I'm using gas as a solvent, which should hopefully not eat away at that gasket. This one here. It's actually more of a it's a longer thing for where the PCV valve plugs into. But uh, this that, sh that shouldn't be affected by gasoline. It's the same same chemical solvent as, as oil is. So here we go. So here we are. Done uh, probably ten rinses. About seven of which with the new gas. So I'm going to do that one more time and show you what the color is like now. It was pretty nasty, full of grit, really. There was actually a fair amount of dirt, gritty stuff in there. And now it's pretty well clean. So what I'm doing now is just putting about how it would sit. She's giving it a few good shakes. Flip it over, give it a few good shakes that way, left and right, up and down, all around. And then the low point being this one, I'll drain it out of. So get a look at the color of that liquid. Pretty darn near clear compared to what it was. It was black as an old diesel oil. So I'm going to give this a good cleaning with the gas and this rag on the outside. Reinstall that gasket and then I'm going to let it evaporate or let it sit and try to get the, the gas to evaporate out of it. Maybe even outside in the sun for a little bit. As I have it out, real quick, clean out the PCV, done this a couple of times. Yes, PCV valves are cheap and why would you waste your time on this? The reason I would waste my time on this is because this is the original Honda part that has been in there since 1993 or at least whatever the dealer replaced the last time it was serviced at the dealer, uh, which was many, many years ago. It's this one. It's still very functional. Uh, it blows one way and not the other. Uh, it's not all, it's got some crud in it, but nothing major. When you blow into it, it's 
Uh, one way it doesn't let air through and the other way it does. So it's doing what it's supposed to do. I'm just cleaning it up a little bit and I'm going to reinstall it. This is relevant to the work today. Without this little universal joint, short piece, little 10 millimeter, I never would have got that top bolt rethreaded. Rethreading that top bolt took more time than doing the whole job. Um, without this it wouldn't have been possible. So get yourself a universal joint or else you will not be able to rethread the top one without removing the intake manifold.